Welcome to the GP Llama YouTube channel and in what I would consider the biggest news since the launch of the new Karoo, aka the Karoo 3 earlier this year. Today Hammerhead have announced their new SDK, they're calling Hammerhead Extensions. A quick overview of what this is all about, it will allow developers to tailor the behaviour and display of the Karoo device, enabling a more customised cycling experience. It facilitates the integration of external data sources or services onto the Karoo environment and as an open source project they are encouraging community collaboration and contributors to further enhance their platform. One of the most popular extensions that we see on the Karoo 2, whoops, the Karoo 2, is KI2, allowing this device to pair to Shimano DI2 group sets, something it can't do natively. It is hands down the best electronic group set integrations that I've seen to date on a head unit. Now you can display group set information, utilize the bonus or hidden buttons on your levers, and get low battery alerts, which is the most useful feature, among other things. Now, KI2 has not been available on the Karoo 3, as there was no SDK since launch on this one. That's likely to change in the coming days. Now we have Karoo extensions. I'll put a pinned comment on this video when we see KI2 land on the Karoo 3. An extension I'd love to see on the Karoo is something like Windfield, which is an extremely useful add-on to Garmin Edge units, showing near real-time wind conditions and directions, and something like Map Fields or Map Dashboard to display multiple metrics on one field. Here's a quick mock-up of what that might look like on the Karoo. Now that would be very neat on the map page. On to some additional notes, and Hammerhead extensions will support both the Karoo 2 and Karoo 3 units. There are some hardware differences between these two models, so the functionality offered by extensions may differ based on the hardware that you have. The Hammerhead Karoo 2 SDK will remain active, but new extensions will need to be specifically developed for Hammerhead extensions. Now I hope with the release of Hammerhead extensions we'll get an app store of sorts on these Karoo units, because sideloading with a USB cable and a command line isn't exactly user friendly. So we'll know more in the coming weeks when developers start releasing extensions for these units, but I really think this is the adrenaline shot that Karoo 3 needed, and it's very good timing too. Okay, we'll leave it there for today. As always, links in the video description if you want to dive into more details about what I've presented here today. And as always, likes, subscribes, all that really helps out here on the channel with me bringing you these videos. Thanks for watching.